Too many guys dying, man. Too much bullshit. Uh, they lose what's uh, they lose what is quality of life, what is your family. They don't they don't care. They're okay, look at Bruiser Brody. It just real simply. They just stabbed him and let him bleed to death. Look at Mike Lima. They drove him into poverty until he had a heart attack. I mean, I can name it. I got him on the back of his shirt, and uh, and I did it on the Howard Stern show one time. One of the guys on the back of his shirt is Andre. Well, Andre didn't commit suicide. No shit. You know, but I don't think the 26 beers a night helped either. <laughs> you know, nor the travel, nor the... And Brian Tillman and Art Barr, and I got blamed for Art Barr's death. And the, and the rest down there, but, you know, everybody uh, wants to all hypocritical, but nobody wants to stand up and take the first shot. And I look at it as uh, I said my piece and now I'm going to do what I want. Fellows of my generation, as we grew up in the business as men, you know, you're out there and uh, you're human beings and you're away from your families. And we know more about each other and taking care of each other. And we did. And then, you know, I'm in the Marriott in Miami on the eighth story with Ke Kevin Von Erich. Uh, he used to like to room with me. For some reason, it didn't bother him to take off his prosthetic. Uh, he was a great guy. And one time, uh, we had given the door so us room service to get in without getting off the bed. I don't know what happened. We were smoking a joint, opened the window, and Carrie and I got out there. It was a pretty hard wind blowing, but I think we're on the eighth floor, and the window closed, and neither one of us even registered the window closing. I don't know why I was there. And Big Bossman and Kurt Henning were coming down to have a beer. What What are you doing? And we almost lost Kerry on, on his ledge was maybe like that. Um, There's been, there's been guy, you know, Kurt Henning is a, f a f fraternity. We're a bunch of guys that uh, our job is so unique. Hogan will call me every once in a while. He said, what are you doing? He says, uh, to me, he says, uh, I don't know, just came from the gym. Uh, I don't know, I was gonna have a beer. He says, I've had two, I'm watching the waves. He says, you know what, we don't know what to do. You know, for homes or wives all the time, they're not used to that. They're taking care of the kids. We don't really fit there. But the last thing we want to go do is another another hard run to Peru. You know, and it's got a sin. And then when they mention your name, is there's this because of you were the first, and it and it puts you in a really precarious situation where you don't have any friends, um, and the ones you do are dead.